Hello everyone and welcome on into Centrum of Concave Souls Tarot. This is Sunny and I am excited to come in with you all today. It is now 4.58 p.m. It is 9.21, September 29th. Let me get a this candle. I'm going to be doing a reading for Libra. Today, let's see. Um, how are you guys doing this week? Hopefully, this is a great week going on for you. I haven't had a projected week so far. Um, please do take a moment to like and subscribe. I really appreciate when you all do. Also, leave me a comment. Um, I would love to know how you all are doing. And if you are looking for a personal reading, those of you who are, that information is listed in the channel. But we are going to be getting into the reading here. I'm going to light some sage. Let me see. I think I keep this. A little sage here in this little candle. That's. Um. Burned all out. Um, but yeah, how are you guys doing? How's everything going, Libra? Let's see. All right. We'll light some sage here. Cleanse the energy space. And we're going to see what is going on for Libra at this time. Let's take a look. We're going to go ahead here and take a look at the center of your heart space. And that is going to give us the decorum of your reading. Um, that's going to lead us into what's happening in the spirit and the soul space, which I will take a look in that area and then progress onward into your reading. For meaning here, the spirit give us the highest of our misses for the highest good of Libra at this time. What is going on concerning Libra this week here? What's going on? Today, this week. Interesting. Hmm. I literally got this same card for the heart space for Gemini. The same card came out. And you all is saying here that you all are in the delirium phase of the serial love ship. Um, and this card speaks to soaring lower than the tides of loneliness. Yeah, so your heart is definitely broken at this time. Um, you're tired of making the wrong decisions concerning your romantic relationships. That's what the serial love ship phase is all about concerning the heart. Um, so you're tired of making the wrong decisions here with romance. You could possibly be dealing with someone here um, in, a, in a broken commitment. Um, you're tired of going back and forth. That's all this energy here and the serial love ship. You know, you're tired of indecision, all that kinds of good stuff. And you're lonely, you know, this is a, which leads to loneliness, right? Yeah, so definitely something concerning your romantic life at this time. I'm not going to use these right now. We're going to take a look into the soul and spirit space here, which your soul and spirit is really needing. What's going on? So it gives the highest of my misses for the highest good of Libra at this time, please. What's going on with Libra? Hmm. Yeah. Before I got ready to do you all's reading, I did feel a spirit of fear and anxiety come over me while I was meditating before you all's reading. Um, and I did retrieve a spirit of anger. So fear, anxiety, and anger could be definitely going on in your energy right now. What's going on with Libra, please? Yeah. Concealing remnants of the prince. You may possibly have an adversary here. Or the adversary is trying to work to keep truths hidden from you. This card speaks to you cannot hide from the divine truth. 
You are able to see past the brilliant color shades of insanity. The earth realm heart has been discovered. And yeah, so there's definitely been something that's been revealed. Possibly about an adversary. Or finding out that someone was an adversary in your energy space. Um, there was definitely something that has been revealed. Truths that have been revealed. Let's see here. A discovery. Yeah, the caterpillar is showing up here. Spirit is calling you inward. The representative of the butterfly, which refuses to land. See truths from that which has been buried in the psyche. Recite the heart once more and mourn what has been lost in the fire. And begin to start living fully to depart from bondage. Yeah, so this is definitely possibly some type of loss here I'm getting from this card. This is the caterpillar card. So it does stop, uh, speak to the possibility of rebirth and moving into a new season. But it is the caterpillar. So there could be a stunt of growth here. Yeah. Yeah, at the bottom of the deck, we have showing up here. Spirit told me to look at Wolves Howling of Eve. This card speaks to the mysteries of war between good and evil have befallen you. Don't simply rely on expectation. Take action now. So there's something that you need to take immediate action on, Libra. Some, it's something that you've discovered here. Something definitely has been lost. There's been a loss that you're grieving over. There's, uh, and there is something that you discover that um, you need to take action on now. And Spirit is saying don't sit around and wait. Expecting, you know, the best or whatever and waiting around. You need to take action now. See, we've got advocating self-refusal, living in self-denial. The rejection of self, unable to locate your reflection in the mirror. If you continue to reject yourself, all of creation will follow. So you're definitely living in a spirit of denial, self-denial, and a spirit of self-rejection here. Yeah, or you could possibly be feeling rejected by someone. You could definitely be feeling rejected by someone here and being denied something in the spirit too as well. Yeah. So spirit did just tell me that whoever is rejecting you, if someone is rejecting you, or you are being denied something, it doesn't have to be a person. Spirit is doing it for your best interest. Because uh, we do have the seven golden candlesticks showing up for you. You're elevating to new heights. Career and money are expanding. Ooh, look at this. Exponentially. Wish fulfillment. Yeah, so it looks like you're going to be stepping into your finances looking good here, Libra. Whatever it is that you are doing, there has been a stopping point in the spirit for, and the angelic host guiding you where you need to go. Um, but, but I do see here you elevating to new heights here. Um, you can expect a good career movement. And money expanding at this time exponentially. And also some form of wish fulfillment here is coming in. I see. Hey, okay, Bambi of Innocence is showing up. Begin working to heal the wounds inflicted upon you during adolescence. The reprisal of destiny is at hand here. You're worthy of grace and mercy. Yeah, so you're definitely being uh, shown grace and mercy here by the divine. Uh, Spirit is calling you to work inward here. Um, that's why we did see the caterpillar showing up. Confirmation underneath the caterpillar here. Stating that there's wounds that need to be healed from the past. Possibly from adolescence here. And the reprisal of you revisioning, you being able to um, see your destiny to fruition here. And the spirit uh, is wanting you to be, you know, wanting it to be known here that you are definitely worthy of grace and mercy at this time. Yeah, so, but there's definitely pain here that needs to be healed and it's stemming from the past. Wounds. 
old wounds. Oof. Yeah, my goodness. The intestines cards are showing up here. Insanity inspection card number nine. The number nine may be significant to someone. Yeah, this is something that's really, really, you know, make it, it because the intestines card speaks to the sickening of the soul. And the soul, the soul being hungry. And the soul not being able to function properly because it's not, it's hungering for what it needs and it's not being attended to. Yeah, and that's because you're you're in the the excuse me collecting the complexities of the quagmire energy here showing up at the bottom of the deck. This speaks to spirit of awkwardness and hazardous belief systems, incapable of the acceptance of differences internally and externally. Open your mind to new possibilities. Yeah, so mental stagnation, you want to be careful about that. And open your mind up to, the pos to new possibilities here. It's really the same. So let's take a look. Oh, I just saw 11-11 on the clock. This spirit is saying you're on the right path. That's also talking about a connection. You could possibly be dealing well, you, with a marriage or a soulmate connection here or a committed relationship. I did see that here showing up in the serial love ship. Was it at the center of your heart space? <clears throat> So let's take a further look. <clears throat> What's going on with Libra? Libra, Libra, Libra. Okay, yeah, there's definitely some type of committed relationship going on here for a while showing up. But this is also confirming by spirit once again. Look at that. I just saw 11-11 on the clock and 11-11 is showing up here as your first card. So you're definitely being guided in the right direction by spirit on the right path. Yeah, to a wish fulfillment. I just saw nine of cups in the upright. Yeah, on your way to a wish fulfillment, which was also confirmed here by the seven golden candlesticks card coming out. Oof. Yeah. So, next card we have is seven of swords here. Yeah, so there's something here that you may be keeping to yourself or keeping hidden. Because this is in your energy here. But this card does speak to betrayal, deceit, lies, deception. So what's going on here, Libra? Are you deceiving someone here? What's going on? Yeah, you're also showing up that you're on the defense, Seven of Wands, about something. Defense of energy. Possibly about whatever lies you told, because it is showing up, and you know, and <laughs> you know, <clears throat> I just I'm, I'm telling you here what spirit is saying. So let me see. Okay, nine of swords. Yeah, you're all up in your head losing sleep about something here. Could be this connection you're in. The emperor trying to take back control or gain control here, showing up as the emperor. Yeah, queen of cups, you're showing up here. You're full of emotion at this time. <clears throat> And there's somebody that you have a lot of love for here because you're showing up as the Queen of Cups. Yeah, and this is related to this connection I see. Yeah, whatever it is that you're on the defense about, you're losing sleep about. And it looks like you possibly told some type of lie or you're keeping something hidden to yourself to maintain control over your energy here. What's going on? Yeah, okay, page of swords showing up. Yeah. 
Ten of Cups. Something going on in the home space. Also, connection here. You could be somebody. You may be being watched here, or you may be watching somebody else. <clears throat> this could possibly be happening online. Page of Swords. Queen of Pentacles energy here at the bottom of the deck. Um, you have King of Cups showing up here. And then you have Ace of Swords in the reverse. Yeah, so you have a lot of love going on here from somebody that you're not in communication with. Because Ace of Swords is in the reverse. So let's take a look deeper. Yeah, because I have the Queen of Cups in this position and the King of Cups here. So there's somebody, there's a connection here that you all are in. Both of you love each other, but there's no communication going on here. Looks like possibly on your end. It could be their end as well. Four of Wands. Why is four of Wands here? Queen of Swords. Hmm. Yeah, there's some type of truth that you discover here. Queen of Swords. And you're wounded over this truth. This is definitely regarding your connection. <clears throat> um, because the Nine of Wands is showing up here in the upright. You're showing up as the wounded warrior. Yeah, yeah. And underneath that, we have the Two of Swords in reverse. So something has definitely been revealed that you've discovered and found out. And you're trying to regain your strength at this time in the recent past. After the discovery of this truth and looking at my, how much you've invested in the connection. Why is Queen of Swords here? Yeah, somebody's going to take a food. They're going to come towards you here. Because we got the food card showing up. I think that's Aries energy. Yeah, they're going to contact you. Somebody's going to, this person you're dealing with, not somebody, excuse me, in your romantic life, Libra, they're going to take the risk to come towards you to talk about this secret. Whatever was discovered that you now know of, they're going to come because they're showing up here. I have the same energy space car showing up. Nine of Wands, Two of Swords in the Reverse, and Strength. So they're going to come and take a risk to come towards you to discuss what you discovered or what you found out. Yeah, because you definitely feel like you're being lied to and betrayed here. And like I said, there could also be on the other end of that spectrum, you're keeping information to yourself. So why is the fool here? Well, I'm going to take a look here. Okay, Six of Pentacles. Yeah. So this is showing up. Let me see. There could be possibly be somebody else. Possibly a third party. I am feeling the energy coming through the, the spirit because the Six of Pentacles is here. And there is this talks of imbalance. And, you know, one energy being given to and one not being given to. Yeah, I do see here, and this has definitely caused some arguments here in the connection, conflict. Five of Swords in the upright. Why is Seven of Swords here? Seven of Swords, please. Uh, oh, wow, look at that. There it is. I mean, spirit can't get any more real, and the divine can't get any more true. Um, Six of Pentacles is showing up again, so that definitely confirms that there's another party here. Yeah, so you found out that there's somebody else that your person is seeing here. Yeah. And I see them trying to attempt to step in to stop giving from the other giving energy to the other party 
to try to come in and give some energy to you here. See, that's what's going on. This is giving me um, two ends being played to the middle. That's what's going on here. Whoever you're dealing with is probably some type of player, right? And I don't even need to see the King of Wands coming out because Spirit is revealing this to me. They're telling you one thing and keeping you on a string and telling the other person one thing and keeping them on the string. And this is what you know. But they're going to come in to tell you some information, make you feel good, and keep you on hold to create balance. But it's a false balance, for the saying. We've got Temperance card showing up in the upright. Um, Sagittarius energy. You may be dealing with the Leo. We've got sun, the sun card showing up here in the upright. Yeah, and there's heartbreak behind it. Look at that. Three of Swords in the Upright. Yeah, because you know um, there's somebody else here in the energy. Yeah. And see, with Six of Pentacles showing up twice, there's no way that this person's going to actually be able to give you what you need in the commitment. Because look at that. Six of Six. Six plus Six equals Twelve. And yeah, so the number 12 is important to someone. Let me see, 966669. I just want to call those numbers out as I see them. Um, but Spirit is also telling me, Libra, you could be dealing with somebody that's married here. Because anytime you see 6 and 6 showing up like this, this is like, like I say, um, this person is... This is a string along type of situation because this person can't be. And see what happens when these type of scenarios happen is this person is going to run out of lies because just you, no one is capable of doing that, right? For them to try to play house with you over here and play house over where they're married at. And, I, and four of wands is right here. So this is definitely a marriage for some of you out here. Um... But, or like I say, this person is probably married and stringing you along. And what's going on, Libra, if that is happening, if there's some of you out here, and that's why I think I see Seven of Swords showing up in your energy, because you know that that connection is not supposed to even be happening. If there's some of you, and I'm not trying to be mean, I'm just keep, you know, telling you the truth and telling you what's happening here. And if that is the case for some of you, Libra, and you're entertaining someone who's married, come on, be real with yourself. You know you're playing a losing game. You're playing a losing battle here. Because, okay, what are you thinking? The, like the people on TV that, okay, you think, and it could be man or woman, whatever's going on. Don't pay attention to the gender. But you think this person's going to leave their spouse to come be with you? I mean, seriously, if that's your scenario, when does that ever happen, right? Or And if they do, what is making you think that they're a good fit for you? Because if they would, they would go behind their spouse's back here and have a secret affair with you or have a secret um, rendezvous or whatever you think is going on here, that is very fleeting. And I don't care how long you allow this person to use you, this is all you're going to get. Six of Pentacles and imbalance. I just saw the devil showing up here in the reverse. Why is Six of Pentacles here in the position of Seven of Swords? Yeah, look at that. Ten of Swords in the reverse. There's definitely been a betrayal. But isn't that something? Seven of Swords against the Ten of Swords in reverse. So neither one of you, I don't see any party being in the right here. I saw Seven of Pentacles showing up again. Spirit saying, or telling you to cut your losses here. <clears throat> yeah. Um, yeah, Eight of Cups showing up here. This person is walking away from you. They have been doing some soul seeking and internal work. Thinking about how they're going to detach themselves from you. we got the Hermit card in the reverse. Virgo energy. Yeah. 
they're looking at what they've invested and all that too. I'm thinking about cutting their losses here. Why is seven of wands here? Okay, Queen of Pentacles is showing up. Yeah. So this person see, let me see here. So they view you as the Queen of Pentacles here. Oh, wait a minute. This might be the other person. This might actually be. Let me see. Queen of Pentacles. Why is Queen of Pentacles here before I speak? <laughs> Oh, yeah, I'm right. The high priest showing up in the reverse. So what's going on, Libra, is this person's spouse, is on, they know about the affair because I see the high priest is showing up in the reverse. They're on to you all's game. Ace of Cups. Let me see. The high priest, let me see. Two of Pentacles, yeah. So this person is going to be coming to a, a decision here. And the decision is going to be that they're choosing their marriage, right? Even the Spirit just came out and said that. Four of Wands. The decision, they, that's what it is. They know they can't. And that's the thing. Oops. Yeah. Yeah, that's what it is. I see it right here. I can lay the cards out. So right here, this person, their spouse, knows about this affair here. They're making a decision to reel themselves in, cut the loss because we have four wine showing up yet again. 11, 11, twice, but three times now. They're, they're, go they're going to choose their spouse here. They told you a lot that they were single or they tried to make you perceive they were single or, for those of you who are dealing with someone who's married, they probably told you they were done with their spouse. Well, there was a lie. You know, they, they showed up here as the Nine of Pentacles to you, and you thought that that was going to happen. But that's not true because the fool, the fool card is showing up here in the upright. And they're moving away from you here because what they told you was a lie. Isn't this something? You're lying to them, and they're lying to you. What kind of nonsensical mess is going on here, uh, Libra? <laughs> You're lying to them and they're lying to you. And that's what Spirit just told me. So you possibly are entertaining other people. But of course, you know, if you're single and you're fooling around with somebody who's married, you I mean, what, what else is it to expect here that you would be talking to somebody else? Um, but you're lying to them, they're lying to you. Um, you feel like they betrayed you. They feel like, you know, they, well, they knew they betrayed you, but <laughs> I mean, both of you all know this. This looks really kind of messy at this point in your reading. Um, let me see here. Okay, so now you're losing sleep. A nine of swords. Why is nine of swords here? Yeah. Okay, so we have the Magician showing up here in the upright. Ten of Cups showing up in the reverse. And Seven of Cups showing up. Yeah. Yeah. So what I'm seeing here is this person is trying to manifest their home life. Because what happened here is this person was discovered... And that's caused the rift in their home, in their marriage here. They, they're in, working in this manifesting energy to turn this Ten of Cups back into the Ten of Cups in the upright. That's what they're working towards. And that's the option that they're choosing here with Seven of Cups. I also see there's a loss of passion towards whatever this was they were doing with you, which was possibly just for sex. Because I do see the Queen of Wands showing up in the reverse. This person didn't really see you as an option in the beginning because that's what the way they see you. Queen of Wands in the reverse. Yeah. Yeah, and look at this. Yeah. And and what they and the whole time they were missing 
their spouse or the ex or whoever they're dealing with that they're actually committed to because five of cups is in the upright here and those two cups were still standing while they were running around and you know souping your head up uh, you know you know you guys doing whatever and um all that time they were finding the strength to reach back out to the empress which here is you know Wife, husband, spouse. Yeah. Yeah. Why is the emperor here? So you are showing up as the emperor. That's why I felt that angry spirit. Because you're in the spirit of anger. You're in fear and anxiety because of everything that's been discovered. About you and this connection. You're, you, you are trying to now control the narrative of the scenario. The narrative of what has taken place. So let's see. Yeah, I do see you showing up here at the bottom of your reading. As judgment, which is Libra energy. Yeah. Why is the emperor here? Yeah, yeah, ten of swords. This is over to this person. Ten of swords. Yeah, this is coming to a close here. Yeah, <clears throat> and they know you're watching them. I see the black owl, the owl of night here, over the overseeing here. The ten swords stabbed in your back here. So this person knows full well what their decision is, what their intentions are, what they're going to do. Because this is the Isle of Darkness. Please remember that. It's not the Isle of Light. Um, ten of swords. Yeah, look at that. Six of cups in the reverse. Why is six of cups in the reverse here? Yeah. See, this person told you. This person told you. That's what I see. This is not even their energy. This is your energy. See, this person is this owl up here. You know, this person was done with this way back in here in the beginning here with you. I can see that in the spirit. You know, this person knew full well that, you know, you were just, they were in your energy just for probably, like I said, for sex or whatever. They felt like they were getting out of it for an attention type of ordeal, I see. Um, and they told you they possibly were, you know, you were going to be their one or whatever. But that's not the truth because Six of Cups um, in the reverse here. And, and you're sitting here wounded. And this wounded warrior energy with the nine of wands showing up. Yeah, and they don't love you. See, this person told you they loved you, Libra, but they don't. It was all a lie. Queen of Cups in the reverse. Yeah, so that, that lets me know now here, this love here, this King of Cups thing here, you want this person to convey this love to you. That's why Ace of Swords is in the, in the reverse. You want this person to convey this. See? But that, that's not... I'm not seeing that. See? As the, the narrative of this reading moves along, I can see very clearly here that this was all a lie here. Just for this person to get temporary satisfaction from you. Queen of Cups. And you're sitting here as the Queen of Cups waiting on this King of Cups. But Six of Cups confirms here. Six of Cups in the reverse. Yeah. Yeah. You may even be, I did just hear Spirit say, um, that you may even be possibly, since this didn't work out, you may be contacting your exes and things like that, trying to get, you know, 
that makes you feel, I am here for some of you, that that's going to make you feel like, you know, that's feeling a void and things like that. I see the Ace of Cups coming up here. Yeah, see? Yeah, you have a lot of love for this person. Ace of Cups. There it is again. Temperance again. Yeah. Knight of Wands twice. Yeah, this is definitely... Look at... Yeah, you're trying to hear this. Girl, just show me. All of this is... A, okay, Temperance here. This has serious energy. You're trying to create balance where there can be no balance because you're in you're in the player energy showing up as the Knight of Wands. They're in the player energy showing up as the Knight of Wands. Yeah. 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 Why is Queen of Cups here? Yep, what did I say? Temperance. Yeah, and by temperance showing up so many times, I do also see in the spirit that you're trying to control your temper. Spirit is saying that very heavily to me right now um, for somebody. That you're trying to control your temper and you're feeling angry and spiteful at this time. But what good is that going to do, um, Libra? Yeah. Two of Swords in the reverse. Yeah, definitely been revealed. There we go again with the unveiling. Yeah, four of Swords. Yeah. I mean, this person is closed off here. See? And you know they are. That's why you're getting angry here. And you're watching them online because the page of swords is in your energy here. Probably trying to communicate with them in secret online. Probably Facebook, Instagram, one of them. Probably Facebook. I think that's where everybody always. And then where all the players go. <laughs> uh -uh. Um, page of swords. Why is page of swords here? Okay, six of wands. Yeah, you're looking to be recognized here by this person. And for them to talk to you and all that. Let's see. Yeah, but the pet, they're not, there's literally no passion here. Ace of wands. The lovers and the... Yeah. If you do reach out to this person, all they're going to do is just start an argument or conflict to get you out of their energy. Yeah. And cause tower moments. Yep. Two of cups. Yep. Also just saw the king of swords in reverse. Yeah, they don't plan on speaking to you about anything. I don't see her. Let's see. Ace of Wands in the reverse. Yeah, what did I just say? The world showing up now. Completion and ending. Yep. Ten of Cups. Yeah. Yeah, see, you wanted the Ten of Cups with this person, but they never wanted that. Um, and that's what you've been you've been awakened to here with the hangman showing up in the upright. And um, your plan not working, whatever plan, Eight of Pentacles is in the reverse because this person is closed off. You're trying to get them to open up here. Yeah, and they're the opposite of you. 
when your thinking is opposite. Look, they're showing up as the hangman in the reverse. You're showing up here as the hangman and the upright. So your plan is not their plan. Spirit just confirmed. <clears throat> your plan is not their plan. Mm. Okay, the fool. <clears throat> mm. Yeah, it looks like you're going to take a foolish risk to reach out to this person and cause a tower moment here. And this person, yeah, you're going to cause a terror moment for yourself here because this person is showing up as the king of wands and this person's probably going to go off on you. You know. And queen of pentacles. Why is queen of pentacles here? Okay, two of swords, yeah. Yeah, and this here is you saying you here. Um, this is here because this is not your energy. This is the spouse's energy. Uh, but what this does tell me is this: you know that they know because we have two inch swords showing up again. So that's another unveiling. <clears throat> so exactly what's been revealed to you has been revealed to all parties here, whether that be by telling or through the spirit or what have you intuition. Yeah, and this person, they're experiencing some type of grief here by finding this out. Five of Cups. Oh, what's this I have? Yeah, look at that. About this Knight of Wands. And, well, no. Actually, these turned over. I won't say that. Forgive me, uh, Libra. Why is Five of Cups here? Why is Five of Cups here, please? Okay, Six of Wands. In the reverse. Yeah, and this is you with this grief here, too. This grief is coming from you as well. Um, and the other, and the spouse here. Because really, no one's getting any recognition here. And nobody's being really recognized here. It may be a narcissist that you're dealing with. Yeah. Let's see here. Let me check on these main energies. King of Cups. Why is King of Cups here? Yeah. Yeah, this person is leaving you in the cold here. Three of Cups showing up. Yeah. Leave. Ooh. And look at that. Five of Cups again. Or excuse me. Five of Pentacles again. Yeah. And Three of Cups is also representative of, of third party as well. It's celebratory meaning as, and all of that as well. But this could definitely uh, be third party. But leaving, leaving, they're leaving this in the call here. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. And Spirit just told me what, upon looking at the bottom of the deck here, this person is leaving this in the cold because it's too difficult at this point, right? Trying to tell you one thing and tell the other person something. You know what I mean? Or trying to give to you and you're wanting too much and then they got to give to their spouse then they got to give. You know, that's, that's what it is. Showing up and because I saw the King of Wands, then I saw the Knight of Wands. So this is somebody that's very good at wearing masks and um, manipulating people emotionally. Um, yeah, and to them, they're single. See? All right, what about Ace of Swords? I mean, single as it relates to you, <laughs> you know. Um, 
the hangman showing up in the reverse. That's this person's energy. They're silent. You know, they're very aware of everything that's going on. You know, maybe even, even if you think you've been trying to contact this person and maybe they haven't been getting your messages or your responses or things like that. This person is very aware. So you need to be mindful of that. They're very aware of what they do, how they do it. You know, um, they, they this person, no, they're very aware if you try to contact them and all that. They're just not, they, they're not responding here. This person is silent. Ace of Swords in the reverse. The hangman in the reverse. Yeah. Eight of Pentacles. Why is Eight of Pentacles here? Yeah. This person is working on themselves here. See? See them lifting their weights and worry about themselves there? See? And you're trying to balance the skills here because I can see that in the spirit. But that's what that's representing here. These weights on the side. You're trying to balance the skills with somebody that you can't balance the skills with. This person is worried about themselves and they've got their back turned to you. See? They've got their back turned to you. And you're just going to continue to end up in this heartbreak situation here. Three of Swords again. Fooling around with this person. Because they're going over here to the Empress. See? Mm-hmm. And if you keep dealing with this person, they're just always going to be in this in and out energy. Two of Wands coming in and out of your life. Yeah, they'll come and have sex with you. You know, if they get in, you know, a dispute with their spouse or whoever they're with. Or that they consider themselves committed to. They'll come and have sex with you as long as you answer the phone, Libra. <laughs> they'll come. You know, and they'll, you know, have sex with you and things like that. But this person, you know, of no interest to them. You know, and I know a lot of these things sound harsh, but it's the truth. It's the spirit revealing the truth. What do we say here? You cannot hide from divine truths. And that doesn't change for me, you, or anybody else. See? And they're just going to be, like I said, in this in and out energy to a wand. And when they do come in and out, it's just going to be conflict, more arguments. And you know why? Because this person never intended on making you anything besides just like a side piece or something like that. I'm hearing five of swords. Yeah. All right. Let's get some messages for your energy here. Let's see. I'm going to just get these, collect these cards of Libra. Give me one second. And then I'm going to get some messages for your energy space and what areas of energy you need to focus on. Okay, spirits, what does Libra need to focus on at this time? Okay. So the first card we said we have here is my happiness is a choice I make. So, Spirit is calling you to choose happiness at this time. Spirit is also saying that beauty is all around you. Recognize the beauty that is around you and, and allow that beauty to radiate in your energy space at this time. And do remember that happiness is a choice that you made. Spirit is saying to recognize that you are a miracle. You deserve the best, Libra. You deserve somebody that's just for you. You know, that you don't have to worry about, you know, but like I said... And that's for those of you who aren't in that player energy that we saw. You know, because some of you are, because I did see that. But there's some of you out there, you know, that you weren't aware that this was going on. And this was actually being unveiled to you. So for those of you like that, you understand that you are a walking miracle in motion. That you are beautiful and beautiful as beauty is all around you. Your happiness is a choice. You make better decisions to be happy. And it's okay for me to cry when I need to. You know, you, we saw that. The loneliness spirit here, the serial love ship deal. Yeah, and consider all options before acting here. Okay. 
Consider your options before acting, Libra. Okay, that's all I have for you today. I do appreciate you all. Please do remember to like and subscribe. I love you all. Until the next reading, I am manifesting greatness. Peace, love, and light. And until then, I will see you later. Have a wonderful week, and I'll see you on the next reading. Take care.